So far, all of the systems that we've solved by elimination have looked something like this. We've seen all the variables on the left, all the constants on the right, no parentheses, everything fully simplified, all the arithmetic all worked out and everything. If your system is not written like this, elimination gets unpleasant. For example, if we have a system that looks like this, 4 times x minus 3 plus 2 times x plus y equals 5x minus 11, 3 times y minus 1 equals negative 7 times x minus y plus 40. If we have a system that looks like this, elimination is going to be pretty much impossible. It's going to be pretty hard to find a way to arrange these equations so that when we add the left-hand sides, add the right-hand sides, something's going to cancel out. What should we do? First, we'll simplify both sides of both equations. So our first equation, we have 4 times x minus 3 plus 2 times x plus y. Right, I'm focusing on one side at a time because I'm just simplifying now. Distributing across both sets of parentheses, we'll have 4x minus 12 plus 2x plus 2y. Combining like terms, we'll have 6x plus 2y minus 12. On the right-hand side in this equation, there's, there's nothing to simplify. In the second equation, on the left-hand side, we have 3y minus 1. Distributing, we'll have 3y minus 3. And then on the right-hand side, we have negative 7x minus y plus 40. Distributing, we have negative 7x plus 7y plus 40. So now our system is, first equation, we simplified the left-hand side. We didn't do anything on the right-hand side. Second equation, we simplified the left-hand side. And we simplified the right-hand side. OK. What next? Now we look at this system and see if substitution is obviously easy. That is, we want to see if one of the equations, now that we've simplified, looks like y equals stuff with an x in it, or x equals stuff with a y in it, or something close to that. Looking at this system, that does not seem obvious to me. So I think I'm going to want to use elimination after all. How are we going to arrange that? We'll arrange each equation so that it has the variables on the left, the constants on the right. So 6x plus 2y minus 12 is 5x minus 11. Um, we need to get rid of the x on the right, so we'll subtract 5x. We have x plus 2y minus 12 is negative 11. Oh, we'll add 12 to both sides. So x plus 2y equals negative 11 plus 12 is positive 1. Second equation, 3y minus 3 is negative 7x plus 7y plus 40. Let's see, we'll add 7x to both sides. These are not like terms, so we just have 7x plus 3y minus 3 is 7y plus 40. We'll subtract 7y on both sides. So 7x minus 4y 
minus 3 is 40. And we'll add 3 on both sides. 7x minus 4y is 43. So now our system becomes x plus 2y equals 1 and 7x minus 4y equals 43. Okay, now we're ready to solve normally. Now we have just an ordinary system of equations set up for elimination. Um, looking at this, I think that it's going to be easy to eliminate y. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 on both sides. So 2x plus 4y is 2. And now we combine the two equations. Add together the left-hand sides, 9x plus 0. Add together the right-hand sides, 45. So 9x is 45. Divide both sides by 9, and we get x equals 5. Now, ordinarily, we want to go back to the original equations to find the other variable. But in this case, our original equations are so unpleasant that we can use our simplified equations to find the other variable. We got x is 5, so we'll have in the first equation here 5 plus 2y is 1. Subtract 5 on both sides, and we get 2y is negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, and we get y is negative 2. Now, this is a process in which we could certainly make mistakes. So the last thing we should do is to check our answer in the original equations. So plugging into the first equation, we'll have 4 times x is 5 minus 3 plus 2 times x is 5, y is negative 2 is 5 times x is 5 minus 11. This is something that probably we want to just put into the calculator. So, so 4 times 5 minus 3 plus 2 times 5 plus negative 2, that works out to 14. 5 times 5 minus 11, that also works out to 14. Plugging into the second equation, we'll have 3 times y is negative 2 minus 1 is negative 7 times x is 5, y is negative 2 plus 40. So in the calculator again, 3 times negative 2 minus 1, that's negative 9. Negative 7 times 5 minus negative 2 plus 40, also negative 9. You can also work out that arithmetic by hand if you prefer, but we're just trying to check that we get the same result. Why are we doing that in the original equations? Because checking in our simplified equations here wouldn't catch it if we'd made a mistake in simplifying. If we made a mistake anywhere in the process, either we'll catch the mistake when we check in the original equations, or our mistake canceled out and we got the right answer anyway. If we check in the original equations, 
we know for sure that our answer is right.